Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and in our task manager series. Let's first start at the beginning when you actually start your task manager. What's the first thing you see? So I'll right click in the taskbar, go to task manager. And the first thing you see is the apps and processes that are running in your computer. So it says processes. What exactly does that mean? That means all programs that you're running, every Windows process that's doing something is going to show up here with each its different name. For example, I'm recording with OBS Studio. If you look here at the top, OBS Studio is a process right now. It tells me details of this. So the first detail is going to give me is its CPU usage. How much of a percent of my processor is actually being used while I'm recording right now, for example. And it says 2.4, 2.5%. Then it tells you how much memory it's using. So 275.1 megabyte, it's you know, uh, barely more than a quarter of a gigabyte. It's a very small footprint in memory. Um, of course, at the top, that's the total memory used. The third option for that, that software that I'm using is the disk usage, zero megabits per second. So it tells you that right now it's not really recording or almost not recording, but if it does use disk recording, if it does write, it will tell you here the uh, megabits per second of the read write and how there's a color code. When you look at the uh, different processes, they are color coded. If it becomes red, it means oh, it's using a very high um, amount of that activity. Of course, this is network is the amount of megabits per second from your internet connection or your network, internal network. It's not just internet. And finally, there's the GPU or graphics processor engine. How much of a percentage is it using right now of that graphics processing? Then you have, of course, some information that could tell you a little more details here. For example, it's GPU engine tells you what it's actually doing. Power usage. This could be useful for people that want to know which programs are using the most power because of battery operation on the laptop, for example. You'll try to avoid software that use too much power to make battery life longer. And then you have the power usage total here, then or trend. And here it says very low. One little thing that you need to know is that each section is separated by a line. If you put your mouse pointer on that line, it becomes double lined. That means if you were a left click, hold and move your mouse pointer, you will actually give more or less space to each option. So depending on what it's showing as information, you might want sometimes to have more information displayed for one process, less for another. And the reason why is because you can also add more options here in the uh, in, in the top. And we'll, we're going to show that in another video. But I wanted to kind of give you an idea. An example of what it's showing? Well, let's start Google Chrome here and look at the effect on the task manager. So Google Chrome has now started here. Look at very high. So when it starts, it has very high power usage because it's starting all the processes and then it winds down. Now I see here, Google Chrome is in the list of what I actually have. This means it's running now. So Google Chrome, and there's a number next to it. That's the total different little processing that Google Chrome is actually doing. So Google Chrome has 10 different processes that are all doing a little something and taking a little footprint off of the, the computer. Of course, the more processes a single program uses, the more it's a memory hog and a power hog and a in total. But um, so you have to, you know, check that. It's one of the things that you might want if you're trying to tweak your system, want to have something that's a little more uh, performance. Well, you know, knowing if you have three or four different programs that do the same thing, for example, if you look at different web browsers and they do the same thing, looking at the footprint and the processes, the different processes that each use, 
might actually give you an idea of what program is running faster, uses less memory, and is better in performance. And you might want to shift to that if you want to have a faster PC. There's a lot of information in the task manager. So it's important to slowly grasp that. So this is the first in the series. I've just shown you what each information it's giving you here. So let's look at Google Chrome, for example. It uses barely, right now it barely uses my processor. Let's, uh, let's load a bigger page. Let's go to uh, Neowin. Neowin.net. Here you go. This one has ads, there's all sorts of things playing around. Look at how the CPU process is suddenly different. The page is using more energy to display. And let's put it back here. Let's go back. So you see that as you know, if you do things, it actually adds. It adds to the memory load. You see here, it tripled in size. It also uses 25 different processes now. So depending on what you're doing, it's more or less that it's actually using. Uh, it's using a little bit of disk speed, a little bit of uh, internet, my GPU, and so on. So of course, what you'll want to look at is the color coding of all of this, because let's put the uh, task manager smaller here and let it run visible. Uh, actually, I'll put this one a little smaller and let it run visible. Just put it on the, the, the right side and you could see that depending on what you're doing, look at how it changes color. It's starting to tell you, oh, look at that. This is a uh, very high power usage. And it's the uh, it's due to the fact that I was scrolling, for example, in Google Chrome. So these are all things to look at, all things that you need to know. Uh, and slowly observe, and it's going to give you a better idea of what's running, what's taking more power or not. Of course, we'll go into more details as this series will have a lot of videos uh, as time permits, and I'll be posting uh, more information. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching.